Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 Mega is here and this is what you need to know. We have four new POIs located in a new biome on the south side of the map. The largest new POI is Mega City, a sort of cyberpunk futuristic version of Tilted Towers. Mega City replaces the faulty splits area and features tons of vibrant neon signs, holograms, and most importantly grind rails that allow players to move more quickly around the buildings. Other POIs include Steamy Springs next to Frenzy Fields, Kenjutsu Crossing at the very south side of the map, and Naughty Nets taking over the cul-de-sac area just south of Slappy Shores. In addition, we have a new Rift Island with tons of loot and mythic weapons which will appear in the sky after the fourth storm circle. We only lost faulty splits and gained four new POIs, so this map is looking pretty packed with places to loot and explore. For new weapons, we have the Kinetic Blade, a melee katana with a knockback and a dash attack, the Havoc Suppressed Assault Rifle, the Havoc Pump Shotgun, and the Overclocked Pulse Rifle, a mythic rifle attainable only on the Rift Island after you've captured the island's flag. Being unvaulted is the Cobra DMR, Heavy Sniper rifle, Dragon's Breath Sniper, and Combat Shotgun. Being vaulted is the Assault Rifle, Burst Assault Rifle, DMR, Machine SMG, Thunder Shotgun, Heavy Shotgun, Excalibur, and the Flame and Stink Bows. Slurp Juice is now extra rare and more effective. It restores health and shield at the same time and much faster. And we have seven new augments. Dumpster Diving, which spawns loot when you leave a hiding place. Treasure Hunter, which marks chests the first time you enter a POI. Slap Surplus, which gives slap juice in every chest. Munitions Slide, which gives medium ammo while sliding. Medium Ammo Amp, which gives medium ammo weapons an increased magazine size, shotgun recycle, which gives weapons that use shotgun ammo a chance not to consume ammo, and dignified finish, which refreshes the cooldown of the kinetic blade's dash attack with an elimination. Let's check out the new skins and the styles for those skins that you can unlock with the battle pass. Rinzo the Destroyer is on page one. He also has an unlockable style, Rinzo the Magnificent at level eight, and Rococo Cloak O, which is in the bonus rewards after completing the battle pass. We have Amani on page three, along with the style Future Five. Imani at level 20, and the Headliner Imani, which is a quest reward. On page 5, we have Thunder, with the Midnight Snack Thunder, unlockable at level 32, and Rumbling Thunder as a quest reward. Mystica is on page 7, with the Crimson Bloom Mystica style, unlockable at level 46. We also have the Winter Song Mystica as a bonus reward after the battle pass. We have Stray, found on page 9, with the style Renegade Stray at level 62, and Stealth Stray as another quest reward. On page 11, we have Highwire, with Pack Leader Highwire, unlockable at level 7. 78, and another quest reward, Bubblegum Highwire. On page 13, we have River Empress Mizuki with the style Arrival of the Empress on level 94. And in the bonus rewards, we have Magmatic Mizuki. Last but not least, around mid-April, we will have the Attack on Titan crossover with the Aaron Jaeger skin and cosmetics. Let me know what you guys think about this season's battle pass in the comments, and make sure to give me a follow and a subscribe, and check me out on Twitch. I'm live streaming the new season right now.